guys, this is Mrs. Mount, and I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about lesson modifications. These are going to be very important to you all year long, so I want you to know where to find them, and I want you to use them all year long. There are two ways to access lesson modifications. The first way is to go to my Google site and find them there. So you will be able to get a link for my Google site at the bottom of any webmail I have ever sent to you. And I have already sent at least one to each of you. You're gonna go and click on my Google site, find your class on the left hand side, and then click on the word lesson modification. You will see the entire list of lesson modifications for you at a time. This is a great way to find them for any lesson that you need if you're going back to a lesson or you just wanna see what's coming up. When you get to my Google site and you find the document that has the entire semester's lesson modifications, this is what you're going to see. At the top bar for each new unit, there is a purple row, and that top bar has the name and the number of the entire unit. The left-hand column has the name and the number of the lesson within that unit, and then the right-hand column has the list of all of my directions. These are going to include additions to the lesson, things that I am telling you to skip over during the lesson. It will even include some refined instructions for getting through the lesson, as well as some web links for resources or templates that I want you to use. Now at the beginning of this video, I told you there were two ways to access your lesson modifications. The second way, and the way you will probably normally find lesson modifications, is to do so right within your Conexus lesson. So when you go to any of your lessons in Conexus, you will notice that there is going to be a row of icons along the bottom of the lesson. It looks like this, right in the middle of your screen. You're gonna to want to click on the icon that has the pink circle around it. It's got a plus sign and it kind of looks like a dry erase uh, eraser. And it's right to the left of the question mark. Click on that icon to open up a box that has all of the lesson modifications just for that lesson. It might be a good idea for you to copy and paste them into maybe a little sticky note or a little document that you can have open while you're going through the lesson. All right, as we wrap up this video, what is the key? Well, the key is always check lesson modifications before, keyword before you begin the lesson. If something isn't clear, if you don't understand either something in the lesson or something in the lesson modifications, don't wait, don't panic. Text me, call me, webmail me, but get the answer to your question so that you will be successful on every lesson this year. Thanks so much. Hope that you have a great day.